but he's now looking to take his talents like any NBA player would. I'm looking to take my talents to Team Snake, so let's see what he can pull down. <laughs> You know what, it's a, it's a good character. I think that people are delusional if they say he's not top 10, and personally, I think he's top 5. Like, this character has oh, yeah. so many tools oh, yeah. and so many ways to net out those kills, but going up against a character like Palutena, who can break the zone a little bit, you know, she's got some good speed, she's got a reflector. you got to mm -hmm. be a little bit more selective with how you use those projectiles. Exactly. And, of course, you do have a double-sided reflector. You can reflect projectiles, and you can reflect hits in terms of your counter. So you do have a little bit to play with when it comes down to it. you got to be careful how it goes, too, because when you add counters to your game plan, you have to make sure you indefinitely rather your opponent. Mm -hmm. I also love uh, one thing that Key did right there. Jump Steady accidentally picked up a grenade, so went and shield, waited for it to detonate, and Key instantly saw that opportunity and said, I can grab them, use my grab armor, and get two hits mm -hmm. on this Palutena just from one grab. And it comes down to, like, we have the tag there on Key's name, right? Trickster. It is what is your game plan to have to hold Palutena down, right? We mentioned how she's kind of a zone breaker. She does have a little bit of intangibility with her shield. Back air, of course, being one of her most favorite moves. Sometimes it feels like back air the character. A but, little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but when, you, when you're able to hold Palutena down just to hold shield Great for time. a number of time, you're able to just get her. But immediately, Jump Steady says, no, the stock's going to be mine. Yeah, Jump Steady found a very awkward offstage situation there for Key where if he wanted to recover low, he'd probably have to use the C4 because he wouldn't get momentum going mm -hmm. upwards from the Cypher. So the air dodge to the ledge was the logical option, and up smash will cover a whole lot. Oh, Excellent um, reflect, but he was ready. Wow. Told you, you got to be careful when you put it in your game plan. You got to make sure that your opponent indefinitely falls into that. But this time, Key going to take his talents and just holding it off on that platform and waiting to see how he can safely take the stock against Jump City. Sets up the Nikita here. Going to go for the low play. He knows mm -hmm. that Jump Steady is going to have to go for that up B recovery. And Mamita Nikita is going to help you out a lot. You know, it's actually one of those weird situations where somebody's throwing something at you and you don't want to teleport recovery. You actually want something with the hitbox so you can deactivate the Nikita yeah. and you can actually get back to ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's all mix-ups for you. All right, well, immediately Jump Steady setting up those empty hops there. Ooh. Might have been going for a mix-up tomahawk or possibly a back air forward air. Takes his talents there, but that lingering hitbox of up smash, you gotta respect a little bit of it there, especially when you're going for the neutral getup. Oh my oh, goodness, he does not care about anything you have to say off stage. <laughs> it's all about when he gets you out of the axe kick, pace through man, just chopping this man's momentum a little bit in half, but Jump City gonna shake it off back to the stage here. Dude, that is two out of two times that Key has not cared about teleport recoveries. <laughs> he said, I, I know you may think it's top tier, but yo, check this out. Right? <laughs> there's, there's my immediate answer to what you're going to do. And of course, these two have played residing in the 818 area of SoCal. That is the Valley, North Hollywood, Studio mm. City, Universal City, you know, that, that general area if you're wondering what that area is. Interesting. Dueling explosions there at the distance. Key waiting for that grenade to detonate. He knows that those trades at this point are going to go in his favor because he is the heavier character by a wide margin. And he's got that C4. It wasn't center stage, but now he's got it back in hand. And Jump Steady may Ooh. not realize it. This is a tech chase situation. Wait, I like it. I like it. He had so much fear in this man. He just got up in Hell Shield because he had no idea where he was going afterwards. Mm -hmm. I mean, the two options there are basically up tilt or forward tilt. One of those at the ledge would probably have taken it. And if he would have rolled, he would have just gone after him with dash attack. Oh, a good air dodge. And really understanding he's going to go for it. There it is. Ooh. Oh, man. The lay down, but immediately not out of it just yet. Waiting for the recovery. One more time. With Grace, let's see what happens here with the Nikita. Able to get around it, but it's just one more grab. Ooh, Jump ooh, Steady ooh. knew it. Jump Steady knew that Key was thinking, I only need one more grab yep. so I can do down throw into up tilt. I mash that and I win this game. And so Jump Steady immediately ready to jump over it and smack him with the Captain yep. America. <laughs> and I saw, we saw his hands where he was mashing out of there with just so much ferocity. He knew, yo man, Key, you're playing with your food, man. You haven't even finished your entree and you're out here just playing with me. Don't toy with me. See my cross up, see my Captain America shield and see me next game. Dude, he knocked, he knocked that plate of steak right off the table. <laughs> said, you playing with that? He said, nah, son. <laughs> you shouldn't want to play with that, man. What did, your, what did your parents tell you, man? <laughs> I know you don't like to mix your peas and your mashed potatoes, man, but you at least got to finish your steak. All right, well, next game here, Jumps Today with the first point on the board. He's rocking out to his music. He played a little bit with his food here, but what's he can do? Because he did a lot to come back, especially with how dominant Jump City was in the first game. Mm -hmm. And speaking of coming back, I also think that that is sort of the mentality that he takes in coming back to the stage where a lot of people say that Pokemon Stadium 2 is one of Snake's better stages. Of course, Snake doesn't have too many bad stages because of the design of his character. Basically, as long as he got platforms, you're pretty much good with this yeah. man. But 
you know, I think that he knows that, okay, I only needed one hit to make this comeback, and I dropped a pretty bad early stock at one point. Yeah. So he's like, all right, if I bring back the stage and I just make one adjustment to my game plan, I can wait for Jump Steady to whiff, and I can get my setup started. All right, Mealy Key looking to take his talents here to see what Jump Steady is going to land. And Mealy counter out with anti-airs. And Mealy counter out with the up smash. I mentioned the anti-airs there. Of course, you got to watch out for the napalm. It does come back down. That's what you see him set it up for. It's got a hit on Stark. Got a hit on the He's way back down. He's down air. Oof. And he does find it. He had to go low because of that bad angle he was sent out at. And so once again, an early stock dropped for the snake. Nikita, great DI from Jump Steady. Take him off the backboard here and jumps to the on the other side. Of course, you warp. Oh, oh man. Untackable at that point, even though if he probably had the opportunity there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, red splash is a no go for you. Red means stop, and stop uh, trying is sort of mm -hmm. the translation there. <laughs> I mean, uh, key homes to jump through myself trying with those teleports, but of course, you gotta use your toolkit to its full advantages. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, he's got it. Air oh. dodge through, though. Jump steady had the perfect timing. Yeah, he knew at that percent, Ryan. Jump steady was, uh, key was looking to take a little bit more percent on the jump steady before he had the detonation, or to see jump steady get in the air a little bit more. And that's the one difference between these two players right now is that he has a really solid game plan that he's executing at the moment, but Jump Steady knows what that game plan is and has played against Snakes before, so he knows how to play around it. Yeah. All okay, right. I so love the termination. Oh, the termination was not there on Jump Steady's recovery. It went a little bit too low, trying to avoid Nikita. And really, that's why we saw Key go for that. It's kind of gone. Oh, oh the grenade. grenade. Saving Snake as always. Not a whole lot of knockback on them, just the damage really that you have to be concerned about. And that, even that close to the blast zone, man. That up air is big and it will hit those grenades. All right, Key looking to watch himself. He's got the platform there and good coverage because uh, Jump City might have been looking to go for the platform on that opportunity. And even then, you know, if Key was just trying to react to that forward movement, Palatine is just so fast. We talked about before game one just how much of a zone breaker this character can be. And she was so quick that she just sped right through the explosion. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like she finally is able to utilize not necessarily her custom toolkit because it's not applied to her all the way through. So she does move that she has a uh, light speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is that, like... Palatina has a very large threat zone just based on that speed that she has. And one of the things you want to do as Snake is throw out all of these projectiles to make your threat zone big, reduce theirs, and let you have a longer reaction time to Oof. really make sure you get the hits you need. But my gosh, he is in dire straits. Up smash, anti-air yet again. Jump City being called out by these anti-air options. All right, almost up the back air. Good coverage from Key, looking to see how Jump City was going to land. This has come down to the wire, man. There's only one can survive, and it's not how you play the... It's not what you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Ooh, I'm just worried about how much Key is playing on these platforms right now. Normally, Snake is covering them, but Ooh. not necessarily standing oh. on them. Finds that movement in with that up tilt in a very close game, too. We'll end with like that. Yep. I mean... Like we saw earlier, Key was making sure he had C4s, grenades, down tilts, up smashes. Even at times, the key to plan, he made sure he was playing the trickster right. Like I said, man, it's not whether you win or lose. It's how you play the game. It's how Key is playing the game at that moment. When Jump Steady thought it was safe to come in, man. Take off the sweater, man. It's getting a little hot out of here. It's getting a little warm in this venue. I'm not going to lie. Key's yeah. feeling that. Taking it off, man. And I'm, honestly, you know, I feel like... I mean, just kind of the, the point that I was making near the end of that game, too, was that when you're throwing out all those projectiles, you were kind of touching on it as well, mm -hmm. that when you're throwing out all these projectiles, you're trying to just limit your opponent's options and right. how they're going to approach you and what they can throw at you, especially with those grenades that come out. And so that's generally the idea of why he is getting that up tilt in that situation, because he knows when Jump Steady is going to approach him. Yep. But now, got to adjust the game plan to a different character. Yep, this is Jump City's original tried and true, the one that got him on the PR back in Smash 4. It is going to be a ZSS, one of his classic characters. They, he sometimes only tends to pull when the going gets tough or when he feels like, you know what, this matchup is better suited for someone that I've been with for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And of course, Zero Suit uh, since Smash 4 has received a lot of changes. Most of them people would consider nerfs, but she has some considerably dangerous things still in her arsenal, particularly 
for example, even though she's lost that down throw, she can get so many mix-ups on the forward throws and back throws, especially off stage. And that's what Key is going to have to look mm -hmm. like because Jump Steady's already capitalized there. Exactly. One thing for Key to understand that might be a little bit similar between ZSS and Palutena is the air-to-air -air combat there. They both love going for aerials. They both love being in the air. And my game plan still slightly remains the same in that aspect, right? Stop my opponent from feeling comfortable with going for aerials or cross-ups and then immediately shut that down. Wow. He definitely not wanting to go to the ledge right there, but that is going to cost him as he goes high. Jump Steady covers it beautifully with that forwarder. Yeah, don't go to the ledge. Mine, fine, man. Go to the blast one. I'll see you, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Come on back when you've got a game plan, man. And he has <laughs> had, he's had a couple of game plans, but here on FD, it's a little bit more difficult to... Uh, you know, negotiate whatever you have set up. Oh, yeah, I mean, he just negotiated that grounding, man. Hold up. Stay grounded. Mom says you can't come out just yet. My turn to play the game. Right, and I, gotta, I gotta wonder what he would have banned it to leave Final Destination open because a lot of snakes consider this to be one of his worst stages. Right. And Jump said he really just gets to pound the pressure on him without any platforms to worry about the coverage. From it's possible. Snakes. I mean,. Granted, these two have played with several times in several games. It's possible that Key did not oh. predict the ZSS coming out at all. That does reach the threshold against the super uh, armor that uh, Cypher does have. It's got damage-based armor, so if you do not exceed the 8% threshold, uh, I think it's about 8.8% threshold, you mm. will still survive from that. Just like uh, just like Yoshi's double jump armor, mm -hmm. for example. But now Key sitting on that last stock because Jump Steady has continually put the pressure on him off stage, which means that you know his game plan has kind of got to shift. He's can't be as comfortable whiffing when he's so close to Jump Steady and yeah. needs to focus on staying on the stage. Paralyzer, oh, nice going for the Zed. A little bit of extra damage, looking for a corner to carry as well. He had him so close there. Immediately with the flip, but Key says, you know what? It's a little too early. I can still move around from here with the directional air dodge. Oh man, but you can see that Jump Steady just continues to push oh. Key into the corner, get him back to the ledge, and this is looking like it is almost curtains at this point. Forward tilt, this is Key's do or die situation, an up smash, looking to see how Jump Steady will land, and then you can see and respect the fact that he tried to set himself up for the whiff punish on that flip kick, but it was a little bit too late, a little too slow for Snake.